Rumi said, um, God's language is silence, everything else is a poor translation. So as soon as we created words, we separated ourselves from that which we experience. Okay, that's the fall from grace, actually. That mm -hmm. as soon as you create words, then you create uh -huh. concepts. If there's no body in the deeper realm, then there's no birth. Mm -hmm. And there's no death. What dies and gets born is experience. So the experience that people are having when they're watching us right now, that'll be over in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And when we started the program, that's over too, right? right? And as soon as I finish my sentence, that's over. Okay? So the future is a dream, the past is a dream, and this present moment is over before you actually have a moment to grasp it. So the whole thing is a dream. Wittgenstein, mm -hmm. he said our life is a dream. Um, we are asleep, but once in a while we wake up enough to know that we're dreaming. What do we wake up to? Mm -hmm. The consciousness that is dreaming, which is timeless. What do we wake up to? The presence in which this experience is happening. This experience is time bound, but the, uh, the consciousness in which it is happening is timeless. That's what the word tattvam asi means. That is who you are. That is all this, that is who I am, that is who you are, that is all this, and that's all there is. That's mm. all there is. Consciousness timelessly bubbling up mm. into the arising and subsiding of experience in an eternal now. We cannot even say in an eternal moment of now, because then we introduce the concept of time. Mm. And the eternal now is the presence of awareness presence of consciousness, you might say spirit, those are words, mm -hmm. but the presence in which the entire universe is evolving as an experience in time. Now, in order to have that experience in time, you have to have the concept of a knower, a process of knowing, and that which is known. A seer, a process of seeing, and the scenery. But, if you look at that, then that one awareness is bubbling out as innumerable knowers, innumerable modes of knowing, innumerable objects known, innumerable seers, innumerable modes of seeing, innumerable seniors. Innumerable scenery. or one, maybe. Well, coming out of the one, yeah. but innumerable experiences of the one. Mm -hmm. So you have a mosquito universe, you have an insect universe, a dolphin universe, again, human constructs, but anyway, the whole, there's no, the multiverse or the metaverse is actually in consciousness alone. Mm 